So with last week's Global Dokkan data download, we did actually end up getting this little funny teaser which did confirm that the LR Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black unit is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening. Now since this image is in the files and we're in a Future Saga celebration, we're all assuming that this EZA is going to be for the final section of the worldwide celebration for this year. Now, nothing is 100% confirmed, but I, I, I would assume that he's very likely going to be in this um, data download this week, which we should be getting. I'll talk about when we could expect him, but I just want to let y'all know, take this all with like a grain of salt, because it, it is not in the realm of like, you know, it's not impossible that he doesn't show up this week for some reason, and he's just in this for some reason like uh, who knows right it is weird that it's in this in the first place we don't have any details or like anything like that we just have this image global a lot of the time puts like these untranslated images which is why it's also japanese right uh even though it was on the global version a lot of times global put the untranslated images in there like placeholders and then they replace them essentially once they're all translated and stuff like that so that seems like that's what they did this week um now, when we could expect to see the Rose Goku Black EZA, at least the LR, in terms of the schedule. So we know, or we could, we're able to predict when things were going to be coming out because of the SNS campaign. Usually with every week's update during this worldwide celebration, the SNS campaign also updated with it. As you see right there, when part three started last week on the 21st, at least in my time zone, but the 22nd for most people, the SNS campaign did reset. This week on the 29th for most people, the SNS campaign is going to reset yet again. And that should be the update of the final stretch of the worldwide celebration for the next week. I mean, yeah, man, the worldwide celebration is almost over, so we can get a very good idea about what the celebration was like and let me know what you guys are thinking about the celebration overall i still did enjoy the celebration there were some downs unfortunately i mean including this guy we'll talk about him in a second but um we know that the 28th should be or the 29th my bad will be when um the celebration starts and keep on the easy days usually drop two hours after the official like most of the events actually would drop so what i'm anticipating is not today but tomorrow in about 24 hours from the time i'm recording this which would be basically tonight like within the next 24 hours of the time this video would go up should be when we do see the lr rose goku black details if we take a look at last week the 20th is when we saw the tua rose goku blacks easy info and of course on the 22nd when the sns campaign resets we had him in game it should be the same thing this week if Rose Goku Black is getting his EZA. Now, I, I think a lot of people are worried because this guy didn't end up being really that great. He's very underwhelming. He doesn't even really make like a top 10 TUR tier list for me personally in terms of EZAs. Um, this guy was just under, uh, underwhelming as a unit. He's just bad, right? I mean, there's not, not really a great way to sugarcoat it. Like, I would say STR Kula, who easy ate a year after before this guy, I mean, is a better unit than what this guy is, which is very disheartening, but it is what it is, considering, you know, I, I don't know. It's like they saved them for so long, and it's like, you know, they had his kit, like, ready, like, almost like a year ago or something. Like, they knew, but then they just saved him and didn't update his kit. That's kind of like what it feels like, because he's just so old at this point. That makes me very worried for like the uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Tech Goku and then the STR Jiren, right? Those two EZAs. I mean, besides those two, every 2018 and I think not 2019 yet, but every 2018 and 2017 it has EZA. That's a premium unit, except for those two now. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I would say do not have your hopes like super up that like, oh, yes, this Rose is the final piece of the puzzle for this monster team. Once we get this Rose Goku Black, he's going to fix the monster team's issue. That is just not going to be a thing. Uh, very unfortunately, it's not really going to be something we should anticipate for him to be a very like mega powerful addition to the team. But I do think he has a pretty solid chance at being a good addition to the team regardless. I think that, you know, we could take a look at some of the last 
LREZAs, right? We take a look at, um, if we expand this, right, we can see Gohan and Goten. You know, in fact, uh, LR Super Baby 2, a character that EZA'd recently. I think LR Super Baby 2 is a pretty nice EZA overall. He's a strong EZA, not like a team carrying EZA, but a nice addition to the team. LR Kel and Kalitula, the same thing. They just don't really have like that Universe 6 team that they want right now. Or like, you know, a lot of like piercing or, you know, bosses like that. But once they do get more and more of those bosses, I mean, they could potentially cook. Beerus and Weiss, I think when they released, they were a good EZA, right? The content right now is hitting a little hard for that first attack, but you can get away with them. This guy's a solid unit still, right? I don't really see people talk about him, but he's solid, right? EZA God Goku, another yellow corner LR, really, really good. Um, I'm not really gonna compare him to these three. I think this unit maybe was a little undertuned, but they're still very strong. I just think that they're not on global, so people won't talk about them. I mean, we know how good these two are in a lot of difficult content. Um, very, very strong EZAs for sure. I would anticipate them to be like this baby to probably be ranging from like, I don't know, let's say Bojack, you know, the Spirit Bomb Goku level to like God Goku Beerus and Whis kind of level, you know, um, I wouldn't really expect them to be like, oh yeah, they're going to be like, you know, strong, like team carrying units, like the Blue Fusions or Gohan and Goten even. Um, but that's not really what the team needs. The team doesn't need to carry. Zamasu is the carry. The team needs supplement units anyways. So it's not a big deal if he's not as good. He just needs to have sustainability. Survivability is what I'm thinking, right? But the issue with that is that this guy's already designed to be a hard hitter like that. So we'll see what they're going to do. I think that they should uh, definitely this. I, I'm, I'm scared about this. I'm scared that they're going to lock a very important mechanic behind the final blow. I would honestly prefer just the final blow being six key. Six key and final blow. That's it. Don't touch that. Keep all the good mechanics in his kit without having to get the final blow. Um, maybe give him some sort of ability where it's like if the enemy's at a low HP level, he gets like an additional super attack and crits on that super attack, right? I think that could be really good where it's like, okay, well, you almost kill the enemy, but you don't kill him. So let's give you this extra attack so you can then kill him and then get the final blow active. I think that would be interesting where it's like early on, you can kind of like confirm a final blow with this guy. Um, if you're able to do a lot of damage and then have this guy attack, right? I think that could be an interesting mechanic, right? Um... I guess maybe add defense to this multiplicative defense when attacking i would i think that they can give him dodge he does do the instant transmission in his super attack and we've seen like you know you notice that have like instant transmission or something like that a lot of them have dodge or evasion so i think evasion uh, like dodge abilities whatever you want to call it they could definitely add to this unit i think that that'd be really really interesting Maybe even increase this to like three turns, like the greatly raised defense. So it does go multiple turns. This has to obviously increase, give him some extra key at the start. Uh, I'm not sure what else they would add. Keep in mind, this condition cannot change. Uh, the rage form itself though, they can change the passive skill on the super attack effects. Uh, I guess this doesn't really have to be changed too much. Honestly, I'll maybe give him some attack. Like, they've been giving some of these giant forms, rage forms attack now. Maybe give him some extra two key per key sphere obtained. And then, like, raises attack for the turn on these super attack effects, right? Like, the orange piccolo one. Like, I think it's greatly raised attack. Then, it might be a normal raised attack here. I actually forgot. We could actually even bring up LR Orange Piccolo and LR Super Baby 2 as well. Uh, both of those units are units that um do have the giant forms and then i think baby two again a, a very good example um yeah master of the raises attack really raises attack right i mean it can literally just be the same kit and then he's super effective instead of the high chance to crit i think that i'd be fine with that orange piccolo yeah again master of the raises greatly raises i would say yeah and basically all, all of them getting to two key so i would just give him the two key i think and then uh, master of the raises attack temporarily greatly raise attack temporarily i think that'd be fine um but that's pretty much it there i don't know what else i would change to this guy i think you just want a survivability and he's obviously gonna hit harder like we don't even have to like question about that he's gonna do more damage but i want to focus on you know what other special unique abilities he can have to distinct to distinguish himself from other units 
Let's just hope they don't fail like they did with this guy. I think that this guy, you know, even from the beginning, his kit was so lackluster with the greatly stacking defense. I already knew they were going to be scared for making this guy a little too good. But this unit's not like that. So I think they'll feel a little more flexible or free to do this unit. And who knows, maybe maybe because he's an anniversary easy, like they make him a little better than normal. I mean, Super Baby 2, I would say like it was a pretty impressive yellow coin LR easy. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now I asked uh, Twitter, I, I sent a question out. What would you do for his EZA? Just wanted to get some replies here. I did see in my notifications on my phone. I got some replies. Let this sit here for about how long? About 15 minutes at this point, right? We probably got some good amount of replies. Let's see what people are saying here. Uh, let's take out the quotes real quick. All right, so we have a full concept here. Yeah, the greatly raised attack and defense for three turns. K3166% and then defense here. Didn't change that. Guards, yeah, see, this is what I don't want to see. Like, guards all attacks when delivering final blow. Like, I think that um you could you could argue both ways, though. Like, it's like, the final blow is such a rare mechanic. Give him a good mechanic when having that. But, you know, knowing how Dokkan designs these units, they're going to be like, oh, well, he can guard, so we don't have to really add anything else to the rest of his kit. And th that's how Dokkan designs these units. It's like, you know... Like the free to play S Terra Rage Chunks as this came out, they're like, oh, he can guard. He has a high chance to guard. So, you know, sometimes he's invincible, but, you know, you know, let's not focus on the fact that when he's not guarding, right? You know, it just that kind of idea uh, where they're really looking at it on paper and not in game usage, right? Perform additional attack future saga. Yeah, see, this is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I would love for him to be this strong. But this is just not realistic. <laughs> like, I, I could be completely honest with y'all. At the end of the day, it's a concept. It's a fun concept. He looks pretty strong. But I just think that, ex like, if you have expectations like this, this is a situation where you kind of got to tune it down a little. Like, he's orb changing, four super attacks, HP recovery, you know, all these extra multiplicative stats. Uh, just keep your expectations in check. Because all I want to say about it. Um... I mean, yeah, extreme, if he gives extreme class allies support, like this is something that I feel like, you know, maybe you're pushing a little with the crit chance on top of that, but even like the double stats buffing, but you know, if he gives like extreme class allies key three and like attack or defense 30%, it's fine. Um, ideally both, but you know, sometimes I've been giving some of these easy A's or units you know, like not the full buffs, right? Um, okay, cool. I mean, it looks good. I, th I think overall, just, this is like more in tune of what I would say, like, you know, uh, realistic easy for him could be. Let's see. <laughs> okay, Goresh. Um, key plus eight and high chance to guard if there's a super class enemy. High chance to crit and the full rotation is God key. 10% defense for five hits received. Well, you know, um, Goresh. <laughs> It's so sad that that's like realistic. <laughs> um, like that. This is like, I, I'm pretty sure he's this boy. The girl's well, he's being coy right here, but like you know, it's just like, like is it really something that we're just gonna look at this and be like, yeah, what? It, like, well, it's gonna be like, what are they thinking? But it's like gonna be like, is it is this something that like we should not expect? Like seeing what they did with the in Goku Black, and it, it's an understandable thing where people's expectations are not even going to be high and again i know there's like obviously this is a funny joke from rush here but you guys kind of get the point um <laughs> they could really just do this and they're like yep he cooked he fought goku and vegeta <laughs> right he fought goku vegeta and trunks they're super class he'll be really good for the uh the, the tech blue goku and vegeta stage in the new divine wrath state event right perfect right easy orb changing really stacking for three turns additional guard and damage reduction extreme class support again uh, that's a bit too much maybe check off the orb changing the guard probably not I, I could see him having reduction i think damage reduction could be interesting and i can see him having additionals and support too like that's just rosé things but i'm not sure about orb changing uh a link here let's see 
Uh, let's see here. High chance to crit 18 key super. No, that's just 12 key super. I'm assuming the 18k has the same thing, I guess. Maybe not. Massively raise attack and deepens for the turn, okay? Keep, oh, okay, so it's like RNG that go to the trunks. I think that'd be cool. I think that's, I'm fine with that, right? Not the biggest deal. If you miss out on one of those or not. Uh, well, I guess maybe for this guy a little bit, but okay. Uh, so, I mean, he has 20%. Then he can get up to 60%. Uh, hmm. I mean, it's not too bad because you at least have something here already, but... It's like, you know, if there's a mechanic in which he would, like, yeah, I think I would add, like, if the enemy's under, like, 30% HP or, like, 40% HP, like, he gets an additional super. And then that can be interesting, I think, because then he gets the high chance to crit on top of this. I, I think I would like that. Um, just a little more of an ability to get the final blow. But, okay, <laughs> do not want to look at my timeline by accident there, but <laughs> who knows what'll pop up. Crit chance and defense key meter final blow to all after one key six and additional super attack. If it's like an additional super attack, I wouldn't mind that, right? I think that's fine. Uh, six turns greatly raise defense and the twelve key. That's a lot. And then three turns attack and defense raise and then X key for six turns. Okay. Guard stats for a few turns. Guard stats finish blow. Extreme class allies key and hits like orange piccolo. You know that that is fine because doesn't he heal at the end of turn yeah when he receives an attack he heals at the end of turn so it's like it could be like he receives an attack then he gives two key to extreme class allies and then recovers six percent hp at the end of turn probably would bump to like ten percent i think that that's like something that we could see it just he wouldn't be a stunt one unit but it's like i guess it'd, it'd be helpful god if there's a zamasu ally on the team Good defense pulse to say hard hitter. I mean, if they really get this guy guard, I think that'd be interesting. Like they can't give him guard because like they they they. I just want to say like guard and reduction or guard and dodge. Like it'd be like guard, dodging or reduction, because they do view like that greatly raising defense stacking like as as strong as those for some reason. But this guy doesn't like have that stacking or dodge or anything like that. So they could give him one of those abilities, I think, compared to them being like scared about giving this guy some one of those abilities, right? Guarding orb changing, RNG dependent. We'll see. I, I don't think he'll be bad. Like, I think this guy, it's kind of like he had nothing. But this unit, like, I think with the multiplicate buff, there is definitely potential there. I would say. And then it's like now he's stacking, right? He's not stacking, so that's very helpful. So I'm assuming this is for one turn. If it's just stacking, they want to give him stacking a guard, right? You know? Also, his 12 key already greatly raises defense on the turn. I mean, reduction? No. It's, it's too much, guys. You guys can't expect so much from like a uh, Yellow Corn LR EZA. And this is where a situation where I just, yeah, I, I think, um, let me read the last two that were up here real quick here. So we saw this, uh, guarding me chance of evading is not one. Yeah, it's more reduction. Just, um, it's like you say the same reason when you don't care to plus two, 140% attack and defense, 7% up to 140%, 3% reduction. Yeah, like this is okay. Because I'm not seeing, like, any other thing. Like, this is, like, you know, it's, like, the greatest, but it's, like, realistic, right? And it's, like, I just don't want people to be, like, oh, yeah, they're going to give him guard, damage reduction, dodging. They're going to give him everything. And then they see, like, he has nothing. And they're, like, they fumbled his EZA, even though he might actually end up still being a pretty decent unit. I just want you guys to keep your expectations tempered, please. We'll see what his details are. I'm assuming they're tomorrow. It'd be really funny if it's not, and then I record this video for nothing. But, I mean, if you're watching this video, then you already kind of know, I guess, right? And if you're not watching it, then, you know, I'm talking to no one, basically. But whatever. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Let me know what you want to see from the LR Rosé. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.